What's up? Welcome back. How do you get five tons of product to Europe? It's possible. Remember, it starts off as a plant, then powder, sellers, brokers, buyers, then users. That's the chain, and it goes up. Today I will give you my two cents on zero, zero, zero. Let's start this show. Yeah. This is real flight, little home, that's why I stay down. I done came up off that boy, look what I made now. Like Nike, I just do this, ain't a game now. I try to get a job, but they turn me down. I know life ain't fair, that's why I don't play around. I know these bitches scap as hell, that's why I don't go around. I know these bitches very well, they ain't gonna hold you down. So I'm out here on my lonely, getting money now. Five, four, three, two, one, ain't no stopping now. I got guap now. Since I've been down, I'm on the top now. Rock star now. I can't turn down. I can't turn down. I, I chose the life I'm living. Out here trapping, getting it. Turn to work the bitch. All I did so I try to get a job, but I didn't get it. So I'm out here getting it. I chose the life I'm living. Gold balls, bad balls. I chose the life I'm living. Gold balls with the rocks. I chose the life I'm living. Corn fast cars. Welcome back. My name's JC. I am Wrong to Strong. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss none of my shenanigans, my two cents, my stories. You know how it is. I share my time in Mexico, my time in the United States, my time in and out of prison, the positive, the negative, the future, what's happening, and my two cents on just about anything that has to do with that life that is connected to my life. That being said, if you are part of my Wrong and Strong family, you guys already know. <laughs> Subanse la suburban. Let's take a cruise down western on the south side, or we go to the north side and take a cruise down Division. End up in Humble Park. Hey guys, this is JC, Uncut Raw. This is how I bring it. This is what I do. Thank you guys for being my family, my supporters. Thank you for being there, and let's get into this. So on this series, it's a journey of trying to get a very large shipment of product from Monterrey, Mexico. God, that's a beautiful city. I used to spend a lot of time in La Colonia Valle Verde in Monterrey. I love that city. It's very, very uh, big, beautiful. Just a lot of beautiful people over there. And um, so they're trying to get this product from Monterrey to Italy, Italia, okay? The cartel is aided by their criminal, they're aiding their criminal activities by a group of military soldiers. Yes, money can buy military. And don't get me wrong, now let, let me make this very, very clear. Back in the day, you had to worry about the soldiers because the soldiers were the, actually the ones that could not be bought. They were very, everybody that was a soldier came from like small towns, um, you know, uh, small, small cities, and they were very, very all about the patria, you know what I mean? Like, it, it was crazy, like back in the day, if you seen a reten, of soldados, of soldiers, you would turn around and, and, and go the other way. You had a better opportunity of paying off la PGR, the, uh, the Estado, the police of the state, or the federal. You had a better, better chance of paying them off than the military. It was like a straight no-no with the military. But, you know, with this being said, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this straight up. Yes, 
there is a lot of corruption in Mexico, but there's a lot of corruption all over the world. And there's a lot of good soldiers out there in Mexico too. So this is not defined the whole box. I'm just stating the facts of this series. Their, their activities are helped by a group of soldiers and they're actually special force soldiers. Uh, the buyer is an old Italian mobster that like in all my videos I've said it in the past the, his young grandson wants his spot. They, they, they think it's out with the old and with the new, you know, and everybody wants the power, everybody wants the money, everybody wants it. Everybody wants to be a chief, not enough Indians. So that goes with everything, everything in life. Even, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a scenario. Even when I first came to Arizona and I was trying to be a law-abating citizen. <laughs> I went to go work in construction, right? And since I was bilingual, since I knew Spanish and English, they gave me a foreman job just, just because. Just because I spoke both languages. I had a license. I was legal. They gave me a foreman job. And I seen the amount of racism there was in between the own raza here where they didn't want to teach each other their jobs because they were afraid they were going to lose them and it was very very sad to see raza doing that to other raza like and it, and it happens in the system and everything but let me let me get back on subject because this is what i do i get fucking off the of subject too much <laughs> anyways the grandson wants the power he wants the old man out the picture. They think he's too old school. He's done his time. He's done. He's, he's out of there. We want them, he want them out. They try to kill him, try to set him up, snitches on him, all that good, good stuff. Now, the brokers that are in charge of this large shipment are an American family from New Orleans that owns the shipping company. And those ships, if I don't know if you guys have ever seen them, they're huge. They transport tons and tons of cargo all over the world through the sea. The shipment ends up in Africa because a bunch of crazy consequences and all, all this stuff happens so the delay of the ship not getting to where it needs to be causes consequences in the whole series and in the dope game no matter large small it doesn't matter the amount of size the consequences are very very big when it's not met on a timely matter whether that's the delivery or the payment and even greater in big amounts like this. The shipment that's trying to get to uh, Italia, Italy, is five tons. Five tons. Okay, I'm gonna give you my two cents on this. Yes, there is shipments that are that big and are moved through tractor trailers. Um, shipments and boats all the cities that have major um you know docks you know sea docks are very prone to this they 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 it comes in it comes in trust me it takes nothing to send 10 and lose two it really it's it's really nothing even at that large of loss it's nothing because with the other ones they they're making billions and billions of dollars so do they send large shipments like this the cartels yes they do especially the the larger Porsche ones like uh, the Nueva Generacion uh, uh, Chapo's people uh, uh, Tijuana all the bigger cartels yes there is smaller cartels that deal in smaller quantities but the bigger cartels that are moving amounts this is what they do this is why 
it's rags to riches pretty much and then it's power because of the billions and billions of dollars my two cents on all of this this story or this book because it was a book and it was this was first released for uh for europe for italy actually and then france and then it ended up on uh, amazon premiere but this series uh was very very dead on on many many things uh i believe that this series was based on the setas uh it's very very close to their story um they're or, or they're or they're originated from and i'll have a later a video later on 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 them their history but it's very very close to them and how they they started at, and rose to power pretty much if you watch the series you'll see how you know these guys are doing all the dirty work for the two cartel leader uh brothers and at the end they start seeing that you know they could take them out because they're 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 cold-blooded they're 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 trained trained killers they're assassins they're soldiers so they start they start realizing that and what happens they take them out and they organize themselves and start their own their own organization they is it true that they train kids like the way they do in that movie that was is dead on dead on they they train kids down as young as 12 years old with military tactics yes that is that is hands down the truth can you buy military yes you can i i said it i said it in the past and the thing is is that this is why like the old school cartel bosses were so respected because the old school cartel bosses started at the bottom and rose to the top like they did a lot of their own dirty work and went all the way to the top it's very very different when you're handed the throne if you know what i mean when you're handed the throne it's very very different you might have the love of the people but sooner or later they will turn around on you if they're vicious killers that's what i mean by that so I give this series two thumbs up, man. It is it is a great series. Watch it, uh, enjoy it. I think it's about uh, seven. I want to say seven. Is it seven seasons? I'm not sure. I mean, I watched it all in two days. <laughs> you know, I had to do it. I had to give my you know two cents on it. But it is a great series. Watch it. It's dead on. Even the the Mexican culture, the neighborhoods, the way they filmed it, man, they they hit it dead on. It it was it, it is crazy. Like, um, it could not be better put together than what it was. It is a very very good series. I suggest you watch it, enjoy it, and like I said, I share my stories, my experiences, not to glorify what I did in the past or none of, nothing of that sort. It's for entertainment, learning purposes, and f so you can maybe get a laugh out of my shenanigans and my past experiences. That's all it is, guys. You know, I used to, I used to feel really guilty about everything that I did in the past. Now, instead of feeling guilty, I do something about it by giving back and doing what I do. My name's JC. I am Wrong the Strong. Remember, don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And you only have one life to live. But if you live it right, one life is all you need, guys. And I'll catch you guys on the rebound.